My name is Riyad Mubarak. This is my story for the Colorful Heritage Project. I was born in a village called Rukhan, district Gujarat, Pakistan. My father was in government service, so we were as and when he was transferred to a place, he had to move there. So we stayed on different places until 1950 when he moved to Scotland. But I stayed behind. Uh, because of my education, whereas my other, my mother and my father and my four, two brothers and two sisters, they moved to Scotland. I joined them in 1954. There two choices, either I continue and get some more education or start working. So in those days, it was very easy, well, not easy to work with, but a uh, choice which was going around selling clothing. So my father got me some ladies and gents ready made clothing, put them in a case and told me to go. First place I went to was Dumbarton. Go there and knock at doors and ask who's the answers want to sell you. Uh, some, you know, shirts or blouses or whatever. So, I started on that and I think worked on that until 1958. In 1962 it seemed as if Everybody wanted to go their own way. So it was decided that my father would keep the scent, my uncle would keep the factory site, and his brother. So that's what it was done. But we had to get supplies proper. So my father decided that he would go to Pakistan and set up a unit there. So my father went to Pakistan, which meant that I had to look after the business. Mother, she went back in December 1962, along with my youngest brother. Um, Iqbal, and it meant uh, there was still quite a number of people in the house with no elder, but um, we were, me and my wife, we were the elders now, so more responsibility. Mr. Shaheen, God bless him, he donated one of his buildings in Carlton Place. So, for use as, as a budget. <clears throat> also, we were one day coming back after Eid prayer. Mr. Shaheen used to have a shop in Carmel Street. We stopped there to see him. So myself, one or two of my friends 
including my treatment by Jacob Bali. And we discussed this, uh, that uh, this is uh, ridiculous. But I think we should uh, look at it seriously. So, uh, Mr. Shaheen said, well, why don't we buy a plot of land and build there? And okay, I mean, uh, we are all, you know, do what we can, financially. So it was decided that, uh, you know, I mean, uh, not at a meeting or anything, just between friends. But we'll do our best and see. So the project was started. Thank God it finished late 83, early 84. Um, so, I mean, it was a miracle and it was uh, something which, by the grace of God, we thank God for giving us such a lovely place of worship. At that time, it was the largest mosque in Europe when it was finished. Of course, there are bigger ones now. Start working on that, collecting. Um, there are some very good contributors. Let me tell you, anywhere we went, if we had hoped, or hundred people were so good, God bless them, that they donated more than our expression. So eventually we managed to finish this project and thank God now you got more or less complete set up there. Uh, for coming generations. T three onwards and when the new masjid were being built, it was decided that we should have board of trustees who own the whole site. I was asked to become a trustee. I refused. But soon after my father was here, they approached my father and asked him to tell me to become a trustee. So my father told me, so I became a trustee. I have been there all the time. I think in 1997, uh, when the Amir of the Trust he passed away, they voted me in become Amir of the Trust. So since then I have been the Amir of the Trust. We decided to open a cash and carry. We didn't know anything about it. No experience. He was very young, he was only 18. But um, everybody, my youngest brother, Rick Paul, my nephew, and Shaukat, they said, oh, I'll put in, you know, not a heart. I said, okay. So we managed with the Shaukars to get supplies. And uh, most of our competitors, they thought they'll want that. 
on their face, they have no experience, these boys are very young, but Almighty was kind to us. We, you know, made a reasonable start and it did succeed. Thank God for that. Allah bless everybody. And uh, this is a message for my coming generations that this Scotland is a great country. People are fantastic, very hospitable, hospitable, very helpful. So please. This is your country. Do the best you can for Scotland and for your team. Because without team, we are nothing. God bless you. Mm -hmm.